this student the third overtone of the open organ pipe is equal to the fourth harmonic so therefore we can write down that 4v by 2l naught will be equal to the fifth harmonic of the closed organ pipe that is 5v by 4lc where l naught and lc are the lengths of the open and the closed pipe respectively on solving this expression we get the value of lc by l naught to be equal to 5 by 8 which means that option number 2 is the correct answer now let us proceed to question number 32 Question number 32 says, air column in a closed organ pipe of length 60 cm vibrates in third harmonic. The pressure variation is maximum. First option at the two ends, second option at a distance 15 cm from open end, third option at a distance 20 cm from open end, or fourth option which says at a distance 25 cm from open end. Dear students, the pressure variation is maximum at displacement nodes in third harmonic two nodes and two antinode will be formed the students in these two displacement nodes the pressure variation would be maximum we can draw the diagram and represent the wave that is the standing wave as This is the displacement node and this is the displacement node. We can see that this distance is lambda by 2 from the closed end. Now dear students, this particular distance is also lambda by 4 from the open end. Lambda by 4 here has a value of L by 3 which is equal to 60 by 3 which will be equal to 20 centimeters. Therefore from 20 centimeters length from the open end there will be the displacement node at which the pressure would be maximum and hence option number 3 is the correct answer. Now let us discuss question number 33. Question number 33 says a uniform wire of linear mass density is 0.02 kg per meter is stressed between two rigid supports with a tension 1.8 into 10 to the power 3 newton resonates with a frequency of 420 hertz. The next harmonic frequency which resonates with wire is 490 hertz. The length of the wire in meter is nearly. Dear students, let the length of the wire be L. We can find out the frequency to be equal to P by 2L under root T by mu, where P is an integer equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on. For the pth mode, the NP that is the frequency of pth mode is P by 2L into under root T by mu and for the P plus first mode, and p plus 1 is equal to p plus 1 by 2l into under root t by mu. On dividing these two equations, we see that 420 by 490 would be equal to p by p plus 1, which means that p is equal to 6. Now, the students, on substituting the value of p in this expression, we can find out that 420 would be equal to 6 by 2l under root. 1.8 into 10 raised to power 3 divided by 0 0.02 which gives a value of L to be equal to 2.14 meter and hence option number 2 is the correct answer. Now let us proceed to question number 34. Question number 34 says air column in a cylindrical tube of length L open at both ends is vibrating in second overtone. The tube is now dipped in water vertically such that frequency of fundamental tone now is equal to frequency of second overtone of open pipe. The length of the tube inside water is. Dear students, when the tube is dipped in water, it behaves as a closed organ pipe. While when it is completely out of the water, it behaves as an open organ pipe. Now dear students, it is given that frequency of the second overtone of the open pipe is equal to fundamental tone of the closed organ pipe. We can write down that 3V by 2L would be equal to V by 4L dash. Now dear students, we can easily see that here L is the length of the open pipe and L dash is the length of the closed pipe. Therefore L dash is equal to L by 6. The length of the 
tube that is inside water can be written as L minus L dash that is L minus L by 6 which is 5 L by 6 and hence option number 4 is the correct answer. Now let us proceed to question number 35. Question number 35 says the linear mass density of a vibrating string is 1.3 into 10 to the power minus 4 kg per meter. A transverse wave is propagating in string and is described by equation y is equal to 0 0.021 sin 0.1x plus 30t where x and y in meter and t is in seconds. The tension in the wire is. Dear student, the speed of the transverse wave is equal to under root of t by mu. The displacement equation of the wave is given to be equal to 0.021 sin 0.1x plus 30t. Here in the speed of the wave can be written as omega by k which will be equal to 30 by 0.1 which will be equal to 300 meter per second. Therefore, 300 would be equal to under root of t by mu. On substituting the value of mu as 1.3 into 10 to the power minus 4 kg per meter, we can find out the value of t which will be equal to 11.7 newton which means option number one is the correct answer. Now let us solve the question number 36.